Hello friends, Kosi Zondo here. This uh, clip is uh, especially dedicated to Yannick, Stephen, Fabian, all the way from Botswana, and I believe uh, Conrad Buluma and Phineas Kaha. I hope I got their names right. Um, and obviously to everyone that will be watching the first video that I did of the song uh, Neria by the late Oliver Mtukudzi. Um, so my friends uh, that I mentioned earlier asked that I do a clip that really focuses on the lead line that I played uh, that comes from the original song by Oliver Mtukudzi, obviously. But instead of playing it with uh, the acoustic guitar, I decided to play it with the electric. And then I had a friend of mine that was playing the chords, which is the harmony for the, the whole song. So what we are going to do is to break everything down, to do our best to, to, to do so. So I hope everything will make sense. Uh, first things first, yes, excuse the noise. Um, I'm at home. Uh, so yeah, obviously we are a huge family. Uh, so my nephews and nieces and my own kids are actually in the background and my mother. Uh, so excuse the noise, but I hope you'll be able to hear everything, right? So we are in the key of E Right So I hope you can see that that's E Use that as well. So, on the on the song itself, I think it's important to note that the progression is basically around what we were taught at school as a one four five progression in the key in a major key. So we are in the key of E major. So if we are in the key of E major, we then know that uh, chord one is. E, chord 2 will be F sharp, chord 3 will be G sharp, then chord 4 is A major, chord 5 will be B major, then chord 6 is C sharp minor, chord 7 will be then D sharp, which is then a half uh, or a diminished chord then back to one right so that's the whole progression one is a major two is a minor three is a minor four is a major five is a major six is a minor seven is a diminished and then eight is the same as one right it's an octave higher so the progression in this song is basically around one four one over five and then five right and back to one so one right four one over five and then uh, back to five and then one right now the intro though something important to note is that it starts on one correct and then it goes to a six then it goes to a four then a one over five then a five then back to one very important there so if i was just playing the uh, the chords for someone that's playing the the melody the lead melody i'd play So that's 
the progression of what we are going to focus on which is just the intro part right so what is also important to note is that when 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 he gets to the five right over one it's important to note that he plays after let's say we were doing the turn around so he plays basically one and then right which is e then F, so E, B, F sharp, B, then back to one. So, right, A major, E over B, right, F sharp, right, it's just a root, but the, the whole chord is actually a B, major right so a b major right but he played e which is like e major over b which is a five remember so for sound sake i hope that makes sense so uh, let's say i was playing the chords again That's the, I think that's a, a lovely sound in, in, in how he played it. I mean, you could have, he could have played straight chords. But you can hear that it then that doesn't sound like uh, Neria anymore. So uh, the melodies are almost everywhere in the instruments that are, are playing. So it's not just say the voice or the lead guitar or the piano or the keyboards it can be it can be the bass guitar that is actually uh, leading and, and playing a melody of some sort supporting what is happening right so i think we've covered the progression so i can just focus on the the melody now right so on the melody the melody as well, which is part of this intro, is, is within this whole uh, 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 progression, right? So if you can check, if I'm playing this type of E, right? Not this, not this, but this type of E, right? It's almost a bar type of E, right? If you had a kapu, you'd place it here and you'd hold it like a C. Right, I hope you can see that. If I had a kapu, I'd play that E like that. Right? Yeah. Remember C, natural C, which is a C major, is played like that because there's that bridge uh, there, right? What do you call it? A bridge? No, it's a nato, whatever it is. But you can see that the C is shaped like this. So if you are playing an E major, you play it the same way. Now, the melody is around that whole harmony as well right so if i'm playing the melody uh, melody rather i'll start on the b right so it's b e right so b e g sharp f sharp then then i go to another b lower b then i basically see right so or, or you can you can think the six 
there because that's where the music uh, moves to, right? So, so I hope you can see that. One more time. Then we go to six. the other side so it's then remember the first chord is then we come to note so it's B E G sharp F sharp B D sharp G sharp then we go to to C sharp C sharp E G sharp back to C sharp Sharp, E, right? Then we go to the chord of A major. We almost arpeggiate the whole chord there. In fact, that's what we do, right? put it together as slow as I can.
slower than that for the last time. Uh, I hope I've done everything and then basically then the other things in the song basically uh, rotate around the same thing that we just did it's just then the melody where he's then singing the actual song but as far as the intro is concerned and the lead um, that's that's the bit that you uh, have to put together or learn how to play in order to just understand what is going on i hope i i explained uh, all that you needed to know in terms of uh, what you saw on the first video thank you <laughs> 